Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony and my boy Adon <laughs> and my boy C Jack over here. And we just did you guys a, a huge favor because if you weren't thinking about seeing this movie, oh no, now you're going to want to do it. Do Baby it. Driver. Oh, man. Man. oh my gosh. Ooh. It's a, this is a refreshing <sighs> movie. Makes because me we, forget uh, the trauma that right, I had. <laughs> right, we've seen I feel like some I'm really a cup of baby right now. It's so good. <laughs> some really bad movies lately, and this one is yeah. really made up for that. Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh my gosh, like someone knows how to make a goddamn movie. For once. Edgar Wright did right. it right. Yeah. Man. You're right, you're right. And they had a really, really good cast. And to me, everyone pulled their weight. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Everyone took the right direction because this, I'm going to just give props to the director. Absolutely. They took yeah. his direction very well. The director, we the writers, the story. Oh, yeah. So who is in this movie? <laughs> who do we got? So... I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but he looks like a new face to me. Uh, Enzo El Elbert. He's our baby driver. Baby. baby. All right. Is he new? Is that, am I wrong? Is that... I feel like I've seen him somewhere, but uh, not, not there's as a couple much. Actors. a big screen. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple actors and actresses I've seen in the background, and now all of a sudden they're in this movie and they're doing a good job. Right. So we got John Bernthal, mm -hmm. if you didn't know. Um, Punisher. Punisher, our Punisher, yeah. Punisher, you want to come up with his own New series? Netflix Walking series, Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Walking oh, Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What two seasons? Something uh, like that. Uh, Rick's partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, John Hamm as Buddy. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have Kevin Spacey, which to wow. me he always does a great yeah, job. Yeah. I'm always I always believe so in the character. Yeah. He was uh, playing our Doc. Our God, Lee. And there's some other characters in here. Other, some other, other, other Jamie, actors. Jamie so Fox. Forget, Jamie oh, Fox. Jamie Fox. Jamie yeah, Fox. Motherfucker Fox. Yeah. I, didn't, I felt he wasn't in here enough. So, I, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, th this movie, it pretty much, it's a heist getaway movie. Definitely with the getaway oh, exclamation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exclamation. Etc. Yeah. So if you if you <laughs> if you like Fast and the Furious, you're definitely going to like this. Right, Transporter, Transporter, any driving movie, you're going to sit there and be like, okay, here we go. In. Right. So off the bat, are we believing this character, Baby? Is he doing it for you guys? Like he's he's the new guy. He's the youngest one in the whole right. group for one. He mm -hmm. has a disability, mm -hmm. and he's just awesome as driver. Was that believable? Yeah, you know what this did for me? I'm sitting here walking and be like, this is the John Wick of drivers. Ah, John Wick <laughs> of drivers. I'm not kidding That's you, man. It was it. such a unique character. And it's like John Wick. We, we believe that we saw all these shoot 'em up movies in the world, and you couldn't get any better than that. Then John Wick comes out. Then The Accountant comes out. Now we got, you know, Atomic Blonde coming out. But now we got Baby Driver. Well, we haven't seen that yet. And so Baby we... Driver <laughs> is, is straight up just, I love him. I love him. He, he I will love be, that analogy. Yes. Yeah. You're a, welcome. It's a great You're analogy. You're welcome. It was dope. You know? So if you don't listen to anything else <laughs> yeah, about this right review, there. there you go. Take that. I would definitely agree with that 100%. You're yeah, welcome. Absolutely. This movie, to me, did a lot of things right. Um, so I'm just going with what I think. The filmography of this, especially from the beginning, we have all these long, very um, timed one-shotters. One shot, yeah. So great. Mm -hmm. This guy walks from uh, probably two blocks yeah. dancing and lip syncing and all this stuff. Just interacting with the yeah. environment. Right. <laughs> it's one shot. Getting bumped and everything, it was it, to me. It was great. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. he was in the moment. For it was sure. almost like part musical in some sense. And it's like, how did you fit that into this movie? But it, it fit perfectly fine, like yeah, amazingly well. Yeah, there's a huge emphasis of music on this movie, and yeah. and the the reason I really like what they did with it because usually in a lot of these movies there's scores or music in the background, right? But this one, they just made it a part, you know? He has his earbuds in, as you've seen in the trailers, and they make it part of the scene, you know? So it's just, like, not a throwaway. They make it, like, you know, that's, right. that's it his thing. It is a part of the movie. The music is... A part of his character, It's really. an actual character itself. Yeah, it is a you character Because they're, when they're playing the music, he's doing all the stuff. Dun -dun 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 all in his head. And to me, that reminded me of myself, because I do that. <laughs> all the time just a little bit just a little all bit all the time even in, in my car everywhere I try to, sometimes I'm like man why do people think I'm weird but <laughs> so I was actually surprised to see that in a movie because oh, I'm like man I do all that it's done really well yeah music score but I'm definitely buying this soundtrack 
Oh yeah. So we got this this kid, and he is to me he seemed a little autistic at first before they explained everything, and he's doing. I was like, man, this kid's not gonna be doing all this stuff. So this kid is like he's he's pulling uh, emergency brakes. He's mm-hmm. slot or uh, what's it drifting called? drifting mm-hmm. through alleyways. Like, were you along for this ride? Oh man. You know, it's one of those movies, like, within the first, you know, couple minutes, if it doesn't have your attention, then I don't know what's going to move you, you know? it's yeah. I, This was awesome. This, to me, was awesome. I'm a car enthusiast. I think about cars constantly. I love cars. You know, I'm all about it. And, I mean, just to see all all these things, you know, they, they put them in a Subaru, you know, STI, and I, I loved it, you know? It's just like, if you're a car enthusiast, you love the whole world of fast cars, JDM, all this stuff, you're going to love this movie for for just that alone, you know? They really sold it as a driving movie. I, oh, yeah. I think about this, I think about, you know, Drive or Transporter, and this is going to be my go-to if I want to see a solo driving movie, aside from Fast and Furious, this is going to be it. You know, definitely the driving, and even in the first scene, like talk about being dropped into the, the the bucket. Just the cinematography, the music, the character being introduced to him for the first time, mm-hmm. the way he drives and how he operates. I'm just like, dude, I'm all in. Like, I, and some of the tricks he does, like, I'm sorry, there's this trick he does with um the the spikes. They throw out the spikes to try to try oh, to yeah. stop him, and he does this trick. And you're going to sit in your seat and be like, oh, my God, he just, like. Yeah, that was pretty dope. When that little happened, I was shots. like, well, and it just, there's a lot of those little things. And the things, they're the things that you sit there and you'll, you'll be like, no, I can get out of it this way if I did this. And he does it. Like, it's yeah. just like, <laughs> it literally happens. For me, I don't know how he's going to get out of it. Honestly, because he was a, he's a great driver. Yeah. And anybody can be a great driver as far as, like, on the, the I guess, track. the track. Yeah. But this guy is not only a great driver, to me, he was a freaking genius. He's a genius. Oh, yeah. To see the terrain and know what you're doing right. with it, you know, you have to think on the fly a couple steps ahead. Right. With the vehicle that you're driving, the amount of weight that's in the car, there's a lot of, like, variables to take account for. Right. And this is how he got away in the red car. Yeah. Like, that was... He got away from a helicopter, guys. <laughs> and it was thought out. It wasn't it like, was, oh, they just wrote this into the, the, the scene. It was very It thoughtful. actually seemed like it, it could happen. Yeah. yeah. We see a lot of car chases out here in L.A., and so to see something like this, it's kind of like, if you have a helicopter on you, it's only a matter of time oh, yeah. until they actually catch you. You're going to get caught. You're, you're definitely going to get it's caught. Nothing. There's no run for the border. It's like, run for the border and get shot at the border, right. you know? Right. But, I mean, this was very thought out. Um, I love what they did with it. it, it it's like... Not cookie cutter, you know. They're they're not taking it from any other movie. This stands alone, you know. Oh, guys, that is so important to me. <laughs> I do not, because I thought that I was going to be able to. Okay, he's going to run away with the girl. They're going to be trying to chase him. He's going to be too good of a driver. He's going to end up killing them in some way, and they're going to get away. Right. That's not what this is. No. Yes. The unpredictability factor of this movie is just so unpredictable. Amazing. I mean, yes. just the driving alone. Oh, it's yeah. like you think he's going to do something completely different. You Definitely, know? this is not a cookie cutter. This is, for some reason, the producers let the director and writers do what they wanted to do. Yeah. And it came out well. So, so good. So, you know what's great, too? Cheers. Sorry, just another, yeah, cheers. Cheers. Another, here's cheers another cheers. That. Secondary <laughs> cheers for guess what? What? No CG. No CG, right? No fucking CG. I mean, if there was any, <laughs> any glimpse of CG, I didn't see it. Nope. I mean, it, it, it was even, really no. well done. I mean, It was refreshing. Again, we get a movie that didn't have to rely on CG, and oh my god, we made it look pretty, to actually tell a story. And they let the characters do the work. They let the writing do the work, and they let the, the director really do what he can do. And thank you! Right. right. <laughs> so I mean, like, you know... You mentioned that you know there it's it's a heist movie you know right. but it, this one is more about the getaway you know when you think about heist movies you think about Heat the town you know mm-hmm. um, what was that one with Keanu Point Break yeah Point you know because they go on with the mask oh, the yeah, Mike yeah. Myers kind yeah, of deal yeah, yeah. but I mean they don't really follow you too much into that you know it's all about Baby Driver it's all about him driving right. it's mm-hmm. about the getaway it's the chase yeah and the way they actually really explain the character you know. You, he's, a, he's a mystery in the beginning, and slowly but surely he develops more and more and more and more. And the cool thing is he's not one of those characters that's deliberately hiding it. Like, if you ask him a question, he gives you an honest answer. So it's like, I really loved the character. It was He was written so well, and the actor just delivered. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like getting a Funko box full of every Funko that you wanted and delivered right to you. He just, he just did. I got some pop reference. <laughs> pop reference. <laughs> so, with this, 
even though they're all criminals, That's we right. do have a sense of hero the villain complex. Yeah, yeah we do. In bulk. But, <laughs> right, in, in bulk. Um, what do we feel about that? Like, there was so much, I would say, energy between the teams that they had. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just so dead Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Jamie yeah. Foxx. Jamie Foxx. At first, I was like, why is he in this damn movie? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no need for him to be in this movie. It's, it's a sequel good. to Sleepless. <laughs> oh, we're done. Because <laughs> that one put me to sleep. I stayed up the whole time, guys. I, I, I was slightly Man. worried with some of the previews that there was going to be, like, horrible like uh, horrible bosses or whatever it's called. What they oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I was just like, please don't be like that. Right. He whoa, was not like he that. He was not like yeah. that. No. Oh, man. I, I tipped my hat off to him. I, it, he made me remember why he's a A-list actor. Yeah, he, absolutely. He yeah, he delivered on his villainy. Yeah, I've never really seen him portray a, a villain like character like this before. Like, he was just an asshole. I yeah. bleep myself out, okay? I mean, he, he was, <laughs> he, but he was professional with it, too. Yeah. He, 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 he knew what he was doing, you know, and he had, like, really witty remarks, you know? Yeah, yeah I feel like he definitely drove the story a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, he, he, yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Right, like, it, yeah. he really, he, he complimented the rest of the actors. And I was sure. going to say that, too, because uh, with, with all the different villains that they have in this movie, mm -hmm. you know, we have a lot of these bank oh, robbers yeah. or, you know, heists. And each one of them is their own character. Each oh, yeah. one of them stands alone, you know? Yeah. I can remember every single one of them. None of them were throwaway. They were no. all there for a reason, really. Yeah, we didn't get one of those movies. No, there was where, like, one guy that was a throwaway. <laughs> <laughs> one guy that, uh, not the one that had the tattoos. What was the other? The, the, teeth? the nose, nose, nose. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> nose, nose, nose. But see, <laughs> even, even sure you remember that. Sure but nose, that's because you brought it up. He's kind of forgettable. <laughs> I don't remember who, who he played. Or, uh, Mikey No Nose, Nose Nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's one of the No Nose. Else, knows like, even Punisher, I would have wanted to see a lot more. Of, I would have wanted uh, to see. Uh, uh, I forget his name. It's locked now. Something Burnthal. But the Punisher. The Punisher. I'm going to call him the Punisher. Punisher. Yeah, he's going to be the Punisher. I would, <laughs> I would have wanted to see just a little bit more of him um, because I thought that he brought his own like villain isk yeah. to it he, it's almost like it, 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 he took it up a level because i thought they were going to have him in it more and then we got jamie fox and i didn't think he can get worse because we got kevin spacey <laughs> right. and i'm like this guy is a douche yeah and then you get you get freaking punisher and you're like this guy is an asshole yeah. and then you get jamie fox and like it just got fu i don't want to be in this fucking room right now <laughs> right. get me the fuck out <laughs> yeah yeah and I, I i think that like for the reason being that they couldn't have punisher and jamie fox in the same room was you know, one would outweigh the other, maybe. Yeah, they did have kind of conflicting or similar parallel uh, personalities, so it might have been a little much. Mm -hmm. But I felt like we could have fit him in somewhere, right? Because I would have wanted to really see him, or maybe they could have went at it a little bit. Yeah. Wow. I don't know, but I would have liked to see more of the Punisher. I would have liked to see more of Jamie Fox. Uh, so we get a love story, mm -hmm. and honestly, I was a little skeptical. I will say again, I was skeptical <laughs> about it because I was like, "Oh, so predictable." Yeah. Um, we get a love story. He meets his girl in a restaurant, and they kind of just hit it off. For me, it was 100% believable. Oh, yeah. I feel like they had great chemistry, and I was rooting for them. Right, yeah. yeah uh, what did you guys think? Yeah, I felt I felt like it, too, because I was just kind of waiting to see what, you know, how this movie was going to do bad. I mean, we were watching so many bad movies, <laughs> and I'm waiting to critique it. But, you know, I lost myself in this movie so much, and that love story was so believable, oh, yeah. you know. With with uh, the play on the music, you know, he, he takes into everything account, uh, as far as his music and remembering and making his own music. So this just, it was perfect. It was perfect timing, you know. We got uh, as much fast-paced music as we did love songs. Right, and before you start, I just want to say what I really liked about her is that she went with the flow. She went with the flow. She wasn't just like always questioning everything and rebuttaling everything. She just went with it. She's like, you yeah. know what? I like him. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. Right. And she, I love She that was part. down. She wasn't like, oh, what's your astrology sign? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. That's an inside joke. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Uh, but what did you think about their relationship? Um, you know, the love story was definitely awesome because I noticed him notice her out of in the beginning of the movie at the coffee shop. He noticed her trolling by, and, like, he, that was the first interaction he got, but he, her spirit, like, I was looking out the window being like, who's that? And um, 
the music really tied it together. I'm one person that really appreciates music and love all mixed in the same thing because it's just a story of emotions, and they really utilize that and uh, the simplicity of who she was. You know, she was a complex. Um, she had a lot going on. She had a heavy plate, but at the same time, like this wasn't so complex. It was just simple love, and I, I really enjoyed that. It, it really was, yeah. you know, and, and they made time for each other, too, you know. Yeah. They're, they're both very oh, yeah, young, definitely. and they got a lot of stuff going on. You know, she's working a lot, and he's, like, on call. So it's like they, they found the time to actually go out of their ways to be with each other. Yeah, yeah I thought it, and she it, stood by him. Like, I don't feel like one was ahead of the other. She was next to him, and that was the important thing, and that's the way it should be, you know. Right. So I, I just... It was a really, really good I dynamic. I feel like they, that she did let him lead because she could have really ruined it if she would have like been head to like, I guess head to head or right beside him in a particular scene. But she yeah, followed they, his lead, yeah, well, and didn't like blow it. They they were very complimentary to yeah, each well, other with that like, aspect. She, where, whereas to I guess it's kind of a dynamic thing, you know, where one falls down, the other one picks it up, and that's that's how it balanced off back and forth. Because it's like yeah. even towards the end, you had the reverse and. The balance yeah. was just really, really good. They had good. each other's back. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate it. She did a, a great job. Sometimes I feel like they cast these women just because they're pretty face right. or because they're uh-huh. they're big right now, and the chemistry just isn't there. It's not believable. With this, I felt like it was it was fresh. Right? Yeah. It was believable. And I'm like, man, if I can only find that. Like, yeah. let's just go with the flow. <laughs> he asked her, where, where are you going after work? She said, oh, I got to do some errands. Yeah. You want to come? He was like, yeah, I'll come. Yeah. She was like, really? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, he, it wasn't just like, it wasn't weird, like, what? Yeah. It was just I want to like, help you do laundry. <laughs> right. No. It just went with the flow, and I really appreciated that. That was a great, um, I guess, dynamic to oh, this yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. Definitely great dynamic and balance. I, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Now, is there anything that you would change about this movie? We've been raving about it. <laughs> been raving about it. Yeah. Anything you would change about it? So I think that, um, not being nitpicky because I don't want to do that, but if there was one thing I would want to change, I, I really wish they would have incorporated some different cars. Maybe some different, like, you know, I don't know, uh, faster cars, you know, modded out cars, something like that. I'm a real car guy, but I appreciate what they did because it was really spontaneous and on the fly with what they were doing as far as accessing these cars that they had. Mm-hmm. But they gave you a, they gave you a challenger at the end. They did, yeah. yeah, and they got they gave me something good to start and something good to end with. So I mean, there was a pretty good mixture. But I mean, me being me and just like cars and stuff, like, yeah, <laughs> give them something cool, man. What about you? You, um, you know, I was really trying to think about it. There, there's not a whole lot. Like, I'm pretty accepting. Um, so, I, you know, I would have liked some more villainy in it, like, towards the end, because I do, I will agree with you on, on the, the characteristic that um, our, our end villain, for the most part, you know, wasn't as, um, didn't make me feel as threatened. Well, as menacing. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. But I, I definitely, and maybe that would be the one thing. I saw that, that, like, I'm sorry, I just enjoyed the movie. I would, I, I, I would go watch it again. I would yeah. encourage all of you guys to watch it. I'm going to buy it. And yeah, that's how, that's how I roll. All yes. right. So <laughs> I'm going to just say mine real quick. Uh, there's two things that I would have changed. I would have wanted more Jamie Foxx. More Jamie Foxx. Um, mm-hmm. I've, so I'm agreeing with you with the whole villain. I would have liked a more menacing villain. Yeah, that was he... more uh, convincing that he was right. really going to go after it. All the way through, yeah. Um, I felt like the villain that we got kind of like oh, I don't know, but I still enjoyed it. It wasn't so. It's these are nitpicks. These are nitpicks. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and then two, I would have liked the music to be a little different, um, just because of I guess the culture. I guess um, there are some other things I would say, I want to say, but I don't want to give it away. Um, but those are the two things I would have kind of wanted to change up just a little bit. I like the music. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I did like <laughs> yeah. it. But it was the uh, culture listening to it that would kind of, ah, I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's young, too. He's young. He's young so, guy. ah. <laughs> but if I had to rate it right now, um, we're going to do this, this new rating. We're going to try something out. New rating yeah. system. Um, so we usually do 1 to 10, but we feel like sometimes we have to... I feel like if I give a five versus a three, I kind of need to explain the difference. Um, so to make it a little stars. simpler, a little simpler, um, we're going to do one out of five stars. Um, you can do we can do halves and things like that. You can do a quarter, whatever. Um, so if I had to rate it, I'm going to give it a 4.5 for sure. I, I enjoyed it. There was nothing that mm-hmm. I really would... Like, nothing I hated except for them... 
Oh, I can't give it away. So there, there was something <laughs> I hated. There's nothing that uh, you hated. You it's just, just good. really liked So everything it. that's yeah. good, I don't want to just give it away. Um, but then I got my intellectual value. There mm-hmm. was a hero, the villain. I love my love stories. Everyone knows I love love. Mm-hmm. I got my music, and he was doing his little hand fiddles and stuff like that. Yeah. Which I do slap at the bass. You know, <laughs> slap at <laughs> that bass. <laughs> I do that all the time. So I, I was able to connect with the characters. So, say mine. Slap at the bass. Mine. Five. I'm going to give it a five star rating. I five will definitely star. watch this movie again. Movie. It was great. It was great. <laughs> All these like little nitpicks are just like, <laughs> dude, you're going to love this movie. From the time that it starts to the time oh, yeah. that it ends and the unpredictability added. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not predictable. <laughs> All right? Just keep it clean. It was dope. I loved it. Absolutely loved this movie. It's in the collection. I love it. Go watch it. Dropped me in the bucket. <laughs> Characters were brilliant. Story was written very not too complex, just the right amount, and it had humor in it. There was some humor that we actually didn't talk about, yeah. and I'm telling you, you're gonna laugh. You're gonna enjoy it. Um, the fight scenes were good. The gun scenes were good. The chase scenes were good. Leaves you wanting more. Hero to villain complex is all there, and we are getting another five star. Five star. Spear fingers. Let it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect movie, guys. Oh, it was great. It's, it's it was hard great. not to give it to it. It's great. It? The cinema. Definitely the, the, refreshing the after the past couple. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. The last couple movies. Oh, Transformers. Yeah. Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what movie? I'm going to bring it up. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we have, do we have another poster? <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, guys. So that is our review. Let us know what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, we want to know what you guys thought. Is this one of your favorite uh, driver movies? <laughs> you know, is it up there with Fast and Furious? Where we're at with it? You Ooh. know, so if you saw it, let us know. Please comment. We want to know. And if you want to get more content like this, please hit the notification button because we would love to notify you of more reviews. So check us out next week. Um, what is? Do we know what we're doing? Can I, can on? I chime in? Like on, on one thing? Okay. Sure. Okay. Just Bye. go. Uh, Sorry. So, uh, I want to let you guys know that we're going to start posting up on Instagram the possibilities of the movies that we're going to be watching and going to let you guys vote on what we're going to watch. So, let us know if, you know, we'll post up the couple that are coming out. If there's one in particular that you guys want us to watch, you guys can go ahead and chime in and we'll go ahead and watch that movie for you guys. There you go. There you go. So, what we're out, baby. Want? Look at the other stuff that we have here on the screen. Look Click on s- that. Juggling that shit? Something like that. There's <laughs> probably a subscribe button there. You know, you click it. Click that button right there. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Do it! Just Come on. No. Like <laughs> All right. That's our review, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. Mr. C-Jack in the house. And we're out, baby. Later, Peace. Guys. Tequila. All right, guys. We're back. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm my boy, Adan. I'm my boy, Christopher the Conch here. Fucked up my name. Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> C-Jack. C-Jack. <laughs>